after the successful launch of India's maiden mission to Mars, India getting ready for a big launch. I have with me the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization to tell us what it means for this launch of the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle. Dr. Radhakrishnan, what is this launch we are having and why is it so significant for the country? This is the launch of GSLV and it is significant because we are testing the Indian cryogenic engine and stage on board this vehicle. We have had a couple of failures on this particular vehicle. You had an aborted launch. Have you been able to do the very best you can for this particular launch? Yes, indeed. In the year 2010, we had a flight test of the Indian cryogenic engine and stage, but we could not sustain the ignition beyond 800 milliseconds, and we have done the necessary corrections. We took the vehicle for flight in August 2030, but the last phase of the countdown, there was a leak, and we had to do a lot of work at that time to restore the vehicle safely and refurbish it to bring it to the stage where we are now set for the flight. Is, is your team confident? Because in a way, the future of the Indian Space Research Organization hinges on this particular launch. If you have another setback, it could be going back to the drawing board for the GSLV missions. The team ISRO has done its best for this mission and we hope for the best. If this launch is successful, can India break into the global launch market for communication satellites? Two things can happen. One, we have a number of satellites lined up which are of the two-ton class that would be launched by the GSLV. And then certainly, we could launch a few communication satellites of two-ton class for the international customers and also, we could launch heavier remote sensing satellites using this launch vehicle. In the last 20 years, no other country has been, uh, no new entrant has been in the cryogenic technologies. It's been a tough technology to master. Are you confident that you've given it your very, very best in this particular launch? Indeed, we have done. The ISRO team has its done best. We also had the involvement of several experts from outside ISRO, both from the academic institutions and the research and development organizations, to review the systems of design, testing, simulation, and before taking this GSLV D5 to the launch pad, we have gone through that process.